Yeah. Increase the tombstone cap and unlock the raid sooner. The very next patch after a raid tier is released is when we should have them unlocked so we can farm them. It will take you several months otherwise to gear up two to three jobs, especially if you don't have a static to farm with. Waiting eight months for a tier to unlock is far. Yeah, that's a bit much, in my opinion. It should be like the patch after the catch-up patch. So, like, they come out with the raid, and then three and a half, four months later, they come out with the catch-up patch. And then, like, the next patch after that, they should just unlock the raid. Because nobody gives a about that raid anymore at that point, man. Are too long. Raiders can be locked into a single role or job if there's an ultimate raid being released right after a savage team. Yeah. Additionally... We could have more raiders being able to flex multiple roles in Party Finder to help their friends and pugs clear content, while also not screwing them out of loot because they've already cleared for the week. Some jobs best in slot also requires a ton of tombstones, yeah. so you're out weeks if you want to gear yeah. up something else. I would love to see these restrictions relaxed a bit. You may even see more Party Finder groups as a result. Number 5. Party Finder and... You know what? Um, so I went to all three fan fests, okay? And uh, we actually talked to him about this. He said something along the lines of, ooh, we don't know about that because it would be really hard. That's what he said. It'd be really hard to do this. Like, bro, you just, like, you do it at the end of every expansion. What are you talking about? What's hard about it? Just changing a number. What do you mean? That's what he said, yeah. He said it was going to be difficult to do. Finder groups as a result. Number five, party finder and raid tools. Cross DC Party Finder listings. I mentioned this before, but it's worth bringing up again. A master listing would be awesome. We yeah, should just be able region. To access a central PF based on. Honestly, this is one of the top things, man, in this video so far. Our region. I'd also like to be able to join listings on alts if I've cleared on my main, and make it so it shows which role I've cleared a fight on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I want to be able to communicate. Be able to access a central PF based on our region. I'd also like to be able to join listings on alts if I've cleared on my main and okay. make it so it shows which role I've cleared a fight on. Yeah, that'd be nice. But but that goes back to the whole account thing, right? All of your characters are tied to the same account kind of thing. Basically, if you clear a fight on one character, the other character should be able to join a party even though that character hasn't cleared, but your account has cleared. I want to be able to communicate with a PF leader as much as possible without having to hop on different characters to prove anything. What if we had a native... Holy shit, brother. This is third party. That's a mod, bro. Raid simulator in-game. 14 does not do a great job of preparing you for in-game content. Imagine Stone Sky Sea, but you could pick your raid and mechanics you want to practice. This wouldn't be readily available on release of a new raid tier. Oh, but yeah. perhaps add it to a later patch to help struggling players. Yeah, this would be cool to be added later. You know, let's say a raid tier comes out when the next raid tier comes out. Like, you know, P8 comes out, Abyssos, and then Anabasios comes out. Maybe they'll update a training simulator for the previous raid tier. I think that would be a good idea. I also think that would be fair as well. And it would be up to the player if they wanted to use that or not. Like, no one is going to force you to use it. The simulator is 10 out of 10. The simulator has helped more people be good at this game or learn this game than Square Enix ever has. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going to say what we're all thinking. Thank God for the simulator. Thank you. Thank you, simulator creator. Whoever you are. Thank you for making this because holy shit, you have saved so many people so much time in raids that it is unreal and you deserve way more credit and way more praise than you probably get. So thank you. Zenosis Vex is now banned from all upcoming media tours. Beat the and mechanics you want to practice in Stone Sky Sea, but you could pick your raid and mechanics you want to practice. This wouldn't be readily available on release of a new raid tier, but perhaps add it to a later patch to help struggling players beat the learning curve without having to feel any embarrassment failing in pugs with other players. This is the number one reason I hear why some people don't raid. They don't want to wipe the group. Yeah. Well, now they'd have a chance to practice on their own time 
to gain that. Yo, real talk. How many people in here right now are embarrassed? Maybe not necessarily embarrassed. Maybe that's the wrong way to put it. But how many people are hesitant to raid because they don't want to make a fool of themselves in Party Finder? Wouldn't this make you feel much more confident if you could practice on your own terms or maybe with just some friends? Because, dude, people don't give a shit if you wipe in the simulator. Like, who cares? Just run it back. You know what I mean? Who cares? Just run that shit back to back to back to back. You know what I mean? This is another reason why I think the simulator is so good. One would need friends for that. You don't even need friends anymore, man. They got the trust system in the simulator because the creator of the simulator is GOAT status. That's why. This would help a crazy amount of people. That confidence they need to join a pug or learning party. If that's too much to ask, then what if we expanded the Hall of the Novice to have higher difficulty challenges? We could have the Hall of the Raider, which will teach raid. I mean, they should make you do this. Like, you know what's crazy is that they make you do the story before you do raids. Yo, how about making them do the Hall of Novice before they do a raid, bro? Right when you hit like level 20 or whatever the first dungeon is, you should have to do this. And then you should have to do it again later. But again, you should only have to do this one time because like they should make this account wide. You know what I mean? So this is like an idea on top of an idea on top of an idea. Mechanics, tank swaps, mitigation checks, Defensive cooldowns, debuff management, boss positioning, and raid awareness of other allies, and then maybe a Hall of the Savage Champion after you graduate from that one with even more intense scenarios. Or we could be sneaky and teach raid mechanics through the mini games in the Gold Saucer. There's definitely a need to have more training tools to help aspiring raiders tackle challenging content. Number four, the chat window. My main problem with the chat window has to do with its menus. Often, when you receive a tell and try to respond or invite them to your party, you're instead met with an error. If you have an option... In okay, this friends list and basically the UI and how you communicate with other players in game is so obnoxious. It is so bad. Menu. It should just work. You shouldn't have to open up your social tab and drill down to your friends list or crossword link shelf for the same result just because it's broken in chat. Please, yeah. fix these menus. Also, chat bubbles. NPCs have them, and we want that option, especially if you're an RP enjoyer. Now nah, that's a mod. Three, link shells. It's my But now nah, they should have the option, man. They should, like, what is the reason why we don't have this? You know what I mean? Dude, what, this guy's a pervert. Shake it, ladies. He's a pervert. If it's Gil you want, come stick your hands in me pockets. Oh my god, dude. What, what is going on here? NPCs have them, and we want that option. Especially if you're an RP enjoyer. Number three, link shells. It's my wish to only have link shells. Let's give them all crossbow functionality, then just remove the bloat. I also can't remember the last time I used a fellowship, but I do know what I've seen. How many of you know what a fellowship is? Okay, correction. How many don't know? Literally never used it. Me, kinky roleplay, forgot they existed. What is a fellowship? Okay, so if you guys are genuinely questioning what is a fellowship, a fellowship is a version of a link shell, but more shitty, I, I guess. 18 plus for kinky roleplay. Damn, look at this one. Just want to be part of something. Damn. Mochi's Playhouse. Oh, looking for, for furry friends. We love all the Makos. Uh, okay, so I was going to say that fellowships, they ha they don't really mean anything. Like, they literally mean nothing, and a, a vast majority of people have probably forgotten that they existed or don't know of their existence. But apparently, what is happening to Twitch with meta and butthole streams is now happening to fellowships. Because fellowships have been abandoned for so long by Square Enix they don't that they don't see all of the degeneracy in here seen when perusing the finder i'd say remove them <laughs> fellowship master dude i can already see it dick them down if they don't but i do know what i've seen when perusing the finder i'd say remove them if they don't really serve much of a purpose nah, this or remove just remove fellowships man they they literally serve no purpose in the game or just give those features to existing link shells we could simply 
merge all of these features together into one cohesive communication tool. Then, yo, I mean, that's that's yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. Yo, you know what? That would make link shells a lot more better if they just took the bulletin board functionality from fellowships and put it on link shells. Can you even rearrange the order of link shells yet? I haven't used link shells in years. You can now, finally. Okay, good for statics. Eh, I mean, you're just going to use Discord a vast majority of the time anyway. I actually think link shells serve no purpose because of the existence of Discord. But that's just me. I'm not saying that other people don't utilize them. I'm just saying that, you know, if you're going to use link shells, just use Discord instead because there's no reason to use a link shell over Discord. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, so I don't know. Let's increase the member cap and the number of link shells you can join or create. We want to make it easier to socialize and communicate with our friends, static members, and online communities. Then we can stay connected to all of our link shells, regardless of what DC its members are on. Number two, cosmic yeah. exploration. Not much is known about this, but here's what I'd like to see. What if it were like a sandbox style environment where you can build bases and other structures, collect resources, learn more and explore other worlds and even earn new mounts minions crafting materials you name it it could very well be a reconstruction style instance where we help rebuild a zone over several phases and i'm all this is like kind of foreign to me because i've never done a lot of the stuff that he just showed like i don't even know where the f he's at for that but i guess this is just it speculation needs to be right? a gigantic playground for all gatherers and crafters Let's add some jump puzzles, uh, riddles, treasure maps, exploration dungeons chock full of materials to gather and refine. This could also be a way to tie in crafting relics and their upgrades. I'm excited at the potential this content has, and I hope it delivers in a big way. And finally, number one. I can't really speak on cosmic exploration because I'm not the most excited about it. Like, I'm glad they're trying new stuff. And for those of you that are excited, I'm glad you're excited. I'm glad they're trying to put it in the game. But I don't really have an opinion on it. Like, they can, uh, like, basically, I tried Island Sanctuary because I assume that it's going to be like that type of content. I got all my shit up all the way. I didn't really like it. I thought it was actually designed kind of poorly. And the reason why I say that is because eventually you didn't even need to craft properly you didn't even need to really play island sanctuary because eventually you could just get all of your you could get your guys to do everything for you in the first place i also thought it took way too long and i thought the i thought the crafting part and everything was just convoluted for no reason there was no reason to make anything else than the first two items in the game because i can 100 percent tell you that i never made anything else besides that chair and the sand those are the only two things I needed. I saw this whole spreadsheet of how to min-max and all that. I took one look at that spreadsheet and was like, nope, I'm just making the chair, I'm making the sand, and that's it. And I, that's all I did. I crafted the same two things over and over and over again. And I did everything almost just as fast as other people. I don't know. I just felt like it was designed poorly. Like I wasn't satisfied at all. Uh, I felt like I kind of wasted my time. And it's kind of ironic that I felt that way. Once I got the ability to basically have people have like the caretakers take care of everything, I would just go in, make sure all my work or like I'd fill out my work orders, collect all the shit, and then I'd be done. I don't know. I think cosmic exploration is that type of content, but hopefully it's better than Island Sanctuary because I wasn't the biggest fan of Island Sanctuary. But I know some people were. For those of you that were, I'm glad you enjoyed it, but I'm also very glad they're discontinuing it. <laughs> uh, hopefully cosmic exploration will be better. If you know me, you probably guessed it. My biggest wish is for the friends list. I can't stand the friends list. Yeah, it's pretty it takes bad. Forever to load, and yeah. anytime you hit yeah. any other menu, it yeah. closes it, causing you to reload and wait for yeah. your whole list to repopulate. Yeah. Not only that, but it's not clear who is truly online. Is there a reason why it's so bad? Like, besides spaghetti code? Like, does anyone have an actual reason? Like, did they ever say an actual reason? Like, it has to be something like that, right? Like, either either bad coding or old code, or there has to be something like that, right? But does anyone actually know? Oh, wait, did they actually give that reason? That is the code? Oh, they did? Okay, I don't remember that, actually. Okay, okay, okay. But uh, the friends list definitely needs to be reworked. 
You have to click on a small icon next to your friend's names to see if they're actually on. Why doesn't it just know this? We need a modern friends list. One that instantly loads and doesn't care what server or DC people are on. We should also make it easier to sort through your friends too. And let's include a notes field. People change their names and I can't keep track of that. It would be nice to make dude, notes. Dude, you know what's dude, you know what's crazy? I thought this notes field was actually in the game. <laughs> I thought the notes field was already in the game. I don't use my friends list, man. So you know it's someone's alt or someone you made an array that was awesome to play with. Let us. Bro, you guys think Dewey's coming back? I'm going to say he's going to come back for Dontra. Who's Dewey? I don't know. Someone that I've been online in 210 days. A long time, brother. Sort and filter by last seen online and make it much easier to remove and add people without repopulating the list every single time. Also, blocking and unfriending should be a two-way removal system. Wait, if you block someone, they're still on your friends list? Are you serious? What in the... F <laughs> that is actually ridiculous. Wow. So people don't feel awkward. What? <laughs> That's actually insane. Dude, some of the mentalities that come from JP are just actually dumb. That is ridiculous. I don't want to be seen on someone else's list if I remove them. It's yeah. awkward. And I don't want them to see me or to know that I'm online. Yeah. If I remove them, my name should be removed from their list as well. Yeah. Yeah, Next, yeah, yeah. How cool is it when you hop into a dungeon and you randomly run into a buddy you didn't even know was online? Well, WoW has a great feature where you can see what your friends are up to in game and even join their groups if they're queued up for something. Oh, your friend needs a fourth man for expert? Oh, that's pretty sick, actually. Well, let's jump in and help. Oh, they need some... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Yo, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Bodies to farm EX trials or do some savage prod. Hunt for some glamours, PvP. You use quick join to sync up with your buddies. I think we could benefit from this feature, and it could be extended to duty finder, party finder, pretty much any instance content. You can see what your friends are up to and just join them it'll keep us more connected we should also have the ability to send friend requests if they're offline it could just be a pending request or we could oh man this video is making me realize how much i don't use the friends list <laughs> i don't use the friends list at all dude i don't even invite people you know what i do i throw up the party finder put in private and say hey just join this shit i don't invite people to shit if you want to play with me no 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 no. i'm not inviting you you're just a joint in pf the password is one 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 they're offline it could just be a pending request or we could just have the friends list available even when you're not inside the game it could be something much like how steam has its friends list set up or how Battle.net does it. You simply just have to have the launcher up and you can access your friends list. And hey, maybe we can even extend that to the link shells that we're in so we can further enhance our communication. We I mean, this is a really cool idea. Don't get me wrong. This is really cool. I just, I don't see this happening. I think that all of this so far is awesome. I want it to happen. I'm just at the same time, man, I can't help but be realistic kind of already have a version of this with a companion app, but it only communicates from app to app with no messages going to friends in game. It's also mobile only, so there's no native desktop chat client. There seems to be a framework for a chat client. We just need to be able to talk to our friends, free companies and link shells in game from it. Additionally, having the sorting features, notes and seeing what I'm your friends go. are doing would be a godsend. This has potential to strengthen our community and to more easily connect with our friends who may not use Discord or hang out on Twitch. With the current state of link shells being unreliable, an update is sorely needed. Then we should have the ability to set our privacy level so we can be displayed as online or invisible or do not disturb. Maybe we're in a progression setting. Uh, whatever the reason, but we should have some more customization to our friends list and it should be way more functional and user friendly than we currently have. It seems really cool, man. If you could do all this through the 14 launcher, this would be really awesome. Cav, please, please, please update the friends list. Well, that's all I got for now. 
What would you like to add to your own wish list? Let me know in the comments below and please like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in Dontrail. Yeah, that was... Dude, that was a good video, man.